If you would have asked me what I imagined my life would look like in California a few years ago, well, I would have thought Jennifer Aniston will be my neighbor, my buddies at work will invite me surfing, and palm tree lined streets will lead me home. Instead, I've come across a different California, one where the locals move. Rolling hills quickly turns into cliffs, and the beach bumps mm, look a little different. And on a day like today, when the fog rolls in thick and fast, there's something about this place that makes you feel like you step back in time. It's a California I come to love and a place that constantly reminds me that sometimes the greatest adventures are in your own backyard. Welcome to Point Reyes. run into when you're getting into Point Reyes is Point Reyes Station. It's a cute little town and we're gonna come explore here a little bit later. But right now let's begin this day in the tourist local way. So let's get some coffee. Yes, let's do it. So Point Reyes is about two hours from San Francisco and Point Reyes Station is essentially the gateway into the national park. It's a quaint one horse kind of town. No, literally, we saw a horse. I mean, you half expected tumbleweed to roll past, but instead you find gems like Bovine Bakery. There's already a line here at 10 a.m. and they have such an amazing like display of pastries. I got something called a fruit slipper that kind of looks like a turnover. I'll show you guys. It looks like that for our visual learners. And it's filled with blackberry and ricotta, which sounds amazing. And Martine got this gorgeous, huge, I've never seen a scone this big, uh, strawberry vanilla scone. And we got a couple of coffees. And our next stop is we're gonna head to Palace Market to get a couple of sandwiches, because I think we're gonna do a picnic later. Let me tell you, these pastries are in fooling around, but a man cannot leave on pastries alone. So let's head into Palace Market. You know the place. It's a kind of a small town grocery store you'd see in some feel-good movies from the 90s. And even though it's small, they offer an incredible array of sandwiches, salads, and cheeses. The folks up here in Northern California are spoiled with selection of products. So we grab some sandwiches, a couple of sodas, and it's time to hit the road. But we have to tell you something. If you're coming over here, uh, just make sure you have a full tank of fuel before leaving over here, because after this point, in Point Reyes, sorry, <laughs> very bad joke. There's no gas station, this is the last one. So make sure you have your tank full before leaving this town. Let's get out of here. All right, let's hit the road in our trusty 1999 Camry. Who needs a high-end sports car when you got this old reliable, right? As we're driving towards the seashore, we do a double take when we see a shipwreck right out here on the grassy plains. No, we're not hallucinating. It's a bit of a local icon, this shipwreck. An Instagram spot, so to speak. This dilapidated hulk of a fishing boat, beached and forgotten, has a story we'll never truly know, but it certainly calls for an epic running shot, right? There we go. Perfect, it was recording. Great. Bloopers. Whew. That's better. This is my favorite part because it looks like a skeleton, like the bones of the ship. I'm like afraid of someone popping out. <laughs> now what in the heck is this thing doing here? <laughs> I have no clue what the story is behind this, but... It looks cool. Yeah, it's cool. It's very old. Good photo op. We later learned that we were actually in Tomales Bay and we were here during low tide. So now it makes sense how the ship got here. But by the time we figured that out, we were already in the car. Now the last time we went to Point Reyes was, I think, 2017. I think so. And it was Martin's very... one of his first trips here. I came uh, for Thanksgiving. And I really was on this mission to show Martine really beautiful places in California that are often overlooked. I mean, San Francisco is the main thing a lot of people come to Northern California to see, but there are so many really cool day trips you can do from San Francisco. And I felt like Point Reyes was one of those like off the beaten path, super beautiful destinations that just like That's makes right. you fall in love with California. Oh yeah, I think the same, I think. It really shows uh, the beautiful nature that we have over here in the north part of the state. A few miles away, the weather changes dramatically. We're officially at the Point Reyes National Seashore, and there's one place we want to go check in on. 
Cypress Tree Tunnel. It's a great photo spot, but don't forget to look beyond the viewfinder. The iconic drive was actually man-made with cypress trees, one of the few tree species adaptable to the wind and ocean weather in these parts. The tree tunnel leads to the historic RCA station where, for decades, operators would send out maritime communications. At one point, our coasts were lined with these Morse code radio stations. They're all gone now, all except this one. Juliana, what do we notice whenever we arrive over here in comparison with 2017? The last time we came here, you could drive down this path. First, I was kind of disappointed that you couldn't because it is quite an epic entrance, but it's actually more convenient now because you can take photos here a lot easier. Um, and it's funny because I never even knew this place existed if it wasn't for the travel Instagrammers of 2016 showing all these beautiful places around the world. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking like the girls running in their dress down some beautiful scenery. When I saw a picture on Instagram, I was like, where in the heck is this? I saw it was Point Reyes, like so close to where we live. And uh, thank you travel Instagrammers for <laughs> helping me find this place because it's awesome. See, we have a, we're going to put the picture over here of uh, whenever we visited in 2017, we took a picture. We have to recreate that right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> a few miles away, we're greeted by rolling green pastures, with cows working around the clock, rain or shine, to ensure that the cheese boards of California remain full. It's hard to believe that just a few miles from here, the earth sharply drops off into the sea. We're making our way into the Point Reyes Lighthouse. Something very amazing about the north part of California is that it could be very sunny and then you drive a couple of miles and it's foggy like this. You can barely see the ocean, but we're gonna walk a little bit more to find the lighthouse. The mighty Pacific, for all its beauty, harbors a darker side, especially here in Point Reyes. This area is often covered in a cloak of fog, a fog so thick it swallows the world. So a lighthouse would probably be nice because this sea out here is like navigating a minefield blindfolded. So in 1870, this lighthouse was made to ward off seafarers from the deadly shores. Whenever you arrive to the parking spot, you have to walk a little bit, maybe like 10, 15 minutes till you get to the spot. Over there, there's a ranger visitor, uh, visitor, center. visitor yeah. center. It was a ranger over there talking mm -hmm. on the phone. It was cool. Actually, he was saying that you can see whales and elephant seals over here. Right now, it's a little foggy, so I don't think we're going to be able to, but that's very cool. And then also, it's a lighthouse over there. That, yeah, we're going, we're going. Probably <laughs> whenever we're going up, we're going to suffer a little bit, but that's our cardio for today. But over here, the views and the sound of the ocean, it's amazing. You can see so many flowers, so many birds, and well, I don't know if we're gonna see a whale, but <laughs> I'm enjoying so much. The lighthouse, it's only open whenever there's good weather, but um, let's go over there, let's see how it looks. we thought, isn't this cliff just the perfect place to have a picnic? Just don't look down. Across the coast, another adventure awaited us. Such a perfect picnic, right? <laughs> the best one. The best one ever. <laughs> Our next spot is to another area that wasn't too far away. It's called Chimney Rock Trailhead. It's That's supposed right. to be a pretty easy hike, about, I don't know, 45 minutes total. But there's another little lookout apparently over here that's uh, that you can stop at on the way. The sea over here is way more calm and probably we're gonna have an opportunity to watch the elephant seals. Yes. Which I, makes me very excited. I know, I'm so excited. There's actually a little lookout point called Elephant Seal Lookout. Let's see how far we can get mm -hmm. to the elephant seals. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I think I can hear them. There's a lot of birds. Routine was right. I think I hear elephant seals. <laughs> Behind camera, Juliana was telling me that we're gonna have a lot of fun because it was a lot of raining in this part of California. So there's a lot of flowers that I have never seen. It's beautiful. Let's 
insanely cool. We saw so many elephant seals. We saw a lot of bird drama <laughs> happening. And we even saw a dolphin. And it's insane to me that we haven't had to pay anything except for our breakfast and lunch today. We just drove up, parking's free, this is free. I feel ashamed I'd never been to this specific spot before because it's so easy to get to. And oh, it's such a cool experience. We could just sit there for hours. And we also worked out. And we also worked out and we're gonna work out some more because we gotta go see Chimney Rock now. What's Let's up with that place? Let's go check it out. Looking through an hourglass We found this cool, cool spot. Even though my anxiety spikes whenever I'm next to the cliff, you can see all the elephant seals taking a nap, you know, because it's Sunday. It's lazy <laughs> Sunday. I can't believe this is real. I love California, man. Change <laughs> so. Well, I don't see a chimney and I don't see any rocks, but this is still a super cool place. It's almost otherworldly. It's just incredible. You feel like you're on the edge of the world, actually. And just sitting out here and looking. I think it's been hours here. On the, on the lookout, though, for whales. I don't see any yet, though. Meanwhile, back in Point Reyes Station, the 800-person town is moving at its own laid-back rhythm as always. So we just stumbled back into town and we found this cute little market called Toby's. I thought it was just gonna sell fruit, but there's so many different souvenirs, so many cute jams and salts and all those little things that you wanna buy when you visit small towns in Northern California like this. It's adorable, I, I wanna buy everything. Also we found this bookstore, it's very nice. And right now we're in a section that is very according to the video. It's called California History. Oh, hey, maybe you should we get can one. Yeah, maybe. It's very, very small, but very, very cute. It has a lot of personality. I like it, and we're having a good time over here. But if you know us, after doing a hike or after doing a lot of walks, we're getting very hungry. <laughs> and this is not the exception, so we're looking for something to eat. Our curiosity led us down the block to this place. By the looks of these wood-fired ovens, this should be good. I think we found the perfect place to have dinner because nothing sounds better than some pizza right now. This is the place to get pizza in this town and when they were open, there was a crowd outside. Yes. So I think that means it's gonna be a good pizza. I think so. It's called Cafe Rays. They have a wood fire pizza um, oven. We're pampering ourselves with this beautiful pizza and this is gonna be the end of the video. Yeah, and I had so much fun showing you this area once again. And this just goes to show that even though we're on a mission to see every state in the USA and Mexico, there's some cool things in our own state and we're having so much fun making these videos for you guys. We hope you guys are enjoying it. So long. Travel well. And make the world your neighborhood. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.